Hello and welcome. This is Judy Adele and I am here to do a music reaction video today. <laughs> this is a DJ request. I have no idea what it is, but the message along with the request said, I know this is a repeat, but it's too good to miss. So who knows? All right, <laughs> let's dive in. Curious. This is a song about prejudice. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> it's about language, the power of language, the power of the language of prejudice. It's called Prejudice. Prejudice. Yes, we have done this one. I don't know if this was the first Tim one we did or not. Anyway, it uh, all I know is that the DJ said this was the best footage he could find. And obviously it looks like it's off of a cell phone. Okay, that's all I know. All right. I mean, I know what song it is, but... In our modern free-spoken society, there is a word that we still hold taboo. taboo. A word with a terrible history is a being used to abuse, oppress and subdue. Just six seemingly harmless letters arranged in a way that will form a word with more power than the pieces of metal that are forged to make swords. A couple of G's, an R and an E, an I and an N. Six little letters all jumbled together have caused damage that we may never mend. And it's important that we all respect that if these people should happen to choose to reclaim the word as their own, it doesn't mean the rest of you have a right to its use. So never underestimate the power the language imparts. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words can break hearts. A couple of G's, G's, unless you've had to live it. An R and an E, even I am careful with it. An I and an N, in the end it will only offend. Don't wanna have to spell it out again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Uh, this is awesome. I'm always curious, like, like it's like, okay, how did these two get together? Like, I'm not that they couldn't or shouldn't. I'm just curious. Like, I wonder the history there. This is fantastic. Yeah. Only a ginger. Oh, I wish there was better footage. Does somebody really not have better footage of this? I just would love to. This is awesome. Okay, anyway. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm not 
free my heels, yeah. Lots of ladies round for ginger beer. And so they're running their fingers through my ginger beer. And dumping my ginger nuts into their ginger tea, yeah. And asking if they call me a ginger. And I say, I don't think that's appropriate. Call me a ginger. Call me a ginger. I like the uh, I like the additional um, instrumental piece. I love the additional percussion that um, Ed Sheeran is bringing to the to the table there. Oh, I know I should know the name of the little thing that he uses and that many people use to create the looping sounds. It's called a looper. Anyway, I just I love that. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You can call us Bozo or Fire Truck. Yeah, you can even call us Carrot Top or Blood Nap. Yeah, you can call us Matchstick or Tampon. <laughs> Sold two million records this year. I just named say Tampon. <laughs> I didn't catch exactly what he said, but that's all. Call us Matchstick or Tampon. <laughs> so two million records this year, I just made him say tampon be a better. Fucking he's twenty. So two million records this year, I just made him say tampon be a better. Fucking he's twenty. history of uh and how well like ed sheeran did the song i love <laughs> i just the tampon thing makes me laugh yeah i don't i don't know what i oh i want to look at how old that was okay um <laughs> i need some help here okay so the video says that that was from 2005 put on youtube in 2007 which is fun to see tim back in the day that long ago uh <laughs> <laughs> that would make Ed Sheeran 
like 15 years old, which is maybe part of the words that I missed in the thing. I Maybe what I heard him say was you're 20, under 20 years old and I made him say tampon on stage. Is that what he said? I don't know. I, I, I didn't quite catch that, but maybe that's what brings that into context for me or brings it clear. Anyway, so fun to see. Oh my gosh. Like, I don't remember when Ed Sheeran showed up exactly. I just like, you remember him starting to infiltrate music and stuff and it took me a little while to warm up to him but but I really have grown to like his stuff like I really like some of his stuff and and then now even going backwards I like his other stuff even more so anyway wow okay that's just fascinating sorry I just had to wrap my mind around Ed Sheeran being born in 1991 I I don't know if I have anything to add except freaking awesome find and really fun to see and uh, yes definitely worth doing a double good good job DJ requesting nice request yeah I love it that is fantastic what fun so I'll have to go back and review my Tim Minchin knowledge and the um what's that called the the documentary that I saw uh I don't remember what it was called that Tim that they did about Tim at I believe the Fringe Festival was where he kind of first got going so I'm curious to know if that's the same one because I can't remember which one it is and I'm sure somebody will tell me (laughs) Troy Stewart it's your job if you haven't stepped up to the plate yet okay um, or if nobody else has all right thank you so much I will I I I will see you later please like the video uh, subscribe to the channel sorry I don't know why I'm flustered love your comments uh, below and your requests can also go in the comments thank you very very much really appreciate it see you again soon and until then Enjoy the music. Bye-bye.